So first we start with the shear force calculation. We start with taking a section towards the left hand side and we move it towards right hand side. So we first take section towards right of A and very near to it. So we have shear force towards right of A and by considering the left hand side of the section we see that on the left hand side of this section the force is VA which is upward so positive. So value of VA is 0. So shear force towards right of A is 0 kN. Now we move this section towards B and we take a section towards left of B and very near to B. So shear force towards left of B as you can see between two sections there is no force acting so we have the same 0 kN. Now we move the section beyond point B that is towards right of B and very near to it. So shear force towards right of B is equal to by considering the left hand side of section we see that the only force which is acting is the upward force P and upward force on the left hand side is positive so we have plus P kN. Now we move the section towards point C and by taking a section towards left of C and very near to it and by looking at the left hand side of the section we see that shear force to the left of C is equal to since no force is in between these two sections the value is same plus P kN. Now this could be evaluated by considering the right hand side of section also. If we consider this section and the right hand side, we see that on the right hand side there is only one force P acting downward. Now downward force on the right hand side of section is plus. Hence the value of shear force at this section remains same whether we consider the left hand side of the section or the right hand side. So we have calculated shear force at all the salient points. So now we can plot the variation of shear force and draw the shear force diagram. So we now plot the variation of shear force in this beam. This is a zero line of beam. Positive shear force will be above this line and negative shear force will be below this line. And on the x-axis we have length of beam. So shear force at A is zero. So it will lie on a zero line. Shear force at the left of B is again zero. So we see that the shear force between A and B is zero. Now shear force at the right of B is plus P. So I take a suitable scale and plot this plus P kN force over here and I simply connect this point with this point by a vertical straight line. Now shear force to the left of C that is towards point C is also P. That means the value of shear force does not change between point B and C and it is at same value P. So here we have again P. Then I finally join this point with this. So we see that the shear force acts only between point B and C and there is no shear force between point A and B. And this shear force is in the positive region, hence positive sign. With this our shear force diagram is complete.